Hello, all you AI aficionados out there. I want to talk about a really special topic, and this is about something I kind of covered already in upscaling, but <laughs> I saw a Reddit post a little while ago where a person was talking about how they were keep getting these like vertical lines and or horizontal lines and grains and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, I'll just start rendering while I'm doing this. Anyways, they were saying they have these issues where they get these like lines of like look like screen lines, like horizontal lines across the image. Sometimes they're a little bit vertical too. It's just stuff that doesn't really contribute to the overall quality of the image. And they couldn't figure out why. And the real reason I think is they weren't considering the fact that you're starting off too big. Like, so this one I'm starting off basically, you know, the, the lowest true HD resolu resolution, which is like 1080p is actually 1088. Cause that's how it, rounds it up or whatever right and I'm gonna make three images from this and this is like some medieval times thing I was working on and this this talks about the problem with being able to get the image you want but trying to get the image you want right off the bat from the first thing and I keep saying this all the time where you shouldn't try to go for that image the first go round you should be trying to build your way up to that image and that's why you should always upscale to the image size that you really want rather than do this thing where you try to get that image from the very beginning because the problem is you're trying to fill in the gaps before you even know what you have, <laughs> right? And it does two things. One, it gives you that graininess thing that they're, they're talking about or that those this lack of definition in these weird horizontal lines like you have on a screen or scan lines, they call them. But it also does this thing where it takes more time to get crap that you don't want because there's more going on, right? So this one's not so bad, but the problem with this is, right, you can see stuff like this, where, look, now it looks like a freaking <laughs> video game. Now, I, if you wanted to make a pixelated video game, that's not that bad, right? It's like, oh, that's kind of freaking cool. And you can see this kind of thing right here, where it looks like, kind of like cartoony. There's a lack of real detail. Now, I want to, this one looks okay, right? But this is 1080p. This is, you know, supposed to be HD resolution. Now the prompt is a detailed photo of a medieval marketplace meat stand where a merchant is showcasing his meats and raw, uh, raw meat and sausages and adjacent stalls, displays, woven baskets and fabrics, another features of barrels and pottery, male and female villagers in historical clothing are engaged in conversations, a, a horse drawn cart stands in the foreground as goods are unloaded. Okay, so, and sometimes they put the horse in, sometimes they don't, I realize that. So. Usually when you want something to look kind of realistic, you write in a detailed photo, right? That's what's going to help you get to that point. But when you start off at this high resolution, you're, you're hurting yourself. The only way to really try to even get this to work out is if you really increase the number of steps. But by doing that, one, you're going to increase the amount of time it takes. And again, the way I do it all the time is I make this in batches. So that way I can really negotiate this a lot quicker because I'm making it in batches, right? So that way I can see, get all the negative ones that I don't want so I can move on. This is a crazy workflow, by the way. Because what I do is I do this. This this is a in-paint option slash image to image. Sometimes it's in-paint, sometimes it's, it's image to image depending on what I want to do. And then there's another one where it's the last one down here is the upscale version of this. So I just take this image, then create like another image based upon this one that this is going to be the same. As you can see, it's the same prompt but it actually adds on to this so that way it can give you more detail out of the base image you just did. And I only put it at like the denoise of like 60 right here. I think this one will have it at 773. Seven, Sometimes I might put this down to 65 too. But the idea is that I use this to upscale and you can see on the upscale when we're gonna, uh, uh, highlight it. This is 1.25. You can get it even higher than that because I have this right here where I, I take the image resize thing and sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't because it doesn't really add as much definition, but you can see this one is an actual HD. So what I usually do instead of doing this, where you keep taking extra amount of time because you got to keep pushing up the steps and depending on your hardware, you might run out of memory. What I would do instead, take this, this is a 16 by nine ratio. Just take it down to the next level which is 720p, which is 1280 by 720, right? And this way I can actually get 
four images and I still believe I can get it at a quicker amount of time than I would if I did three images at 12 HP. Definitely if I increase the number of steps. But the idea behind this is that, I'm gonna go ahead and let it run while I talk. The idea behind this is that you'll see that it'll fill in like a more realistic image because it has less space to try to fill up and try to like figure out. And that's why it won't look cartoony. And it won't look all these, it won't have all these like horizontal scan lines or whatever. I'll, I'll show you again and try to reproduce that idea of like getting scan lines. If I take down the steps and put it right back up to HD, then you really start to see that those scan lines come about. But you don't need to do that. It's better to fill in the image, then use the, that base image that has all those realistic details to upscale to the next thing that fills in the gap. I talked about this on the, which one was it? The character creation thing. Boom, see this? I lowered it down, used the same prompt. All of a sudden, you see how it has this more realistic look to it? It doesn't look cartoony. That's why you do that. And then you can take one of these images and rather than do what we did before, see, because what's going to happen is if you try to upscale that image before, you're going to get more and more cartoony as you go. Oh, yeah, this is it's not going to run without that. But if you upscale one of these images, you'll get more and more detail. So let's just do that just to really show. And then we'll, I'll work backwards and show you the other way. We'll take this one where it's kind of lo looks a little bit far away. So we'll just do a copy clip space right here paste in the clip space and then we're gonna I'm gonna disable the first pass in paint option and upscale all right now we'll just go from here again this is the same prompt I didn't change anything in this prompt I think the only thing that might be different because I think I might have yeah I added in the clip I added women and men because sometimes when this thing works like it only gives me like a bunch of dudes is like well you know there exists more stuff in the world than just a bunch of dudes sometimes and or sometimes it gives you just a bunch of women or something so it's, it's, I don't know some of these models that they build like uh, I don't necessarily understand why it always is one or the other or something but you know it is what it is because everything's already filled out right and because you're not so large from the beginning it's easier for you to upscale from that other image than it is to do it from a, a big image from the get-go because you just get less and less it's almost like getting less and less information because you're doing the same thing so you need that first that base to kind of be filled out and though it's grainy again most of the vision has already been put there for you so the upscale is just going to fill in those gaps so as you can see like right here this was the first thing this one doesn't really upscale but you see how it, ga it gave me more detail then the other one, this is the, the original. See how it's kind of a little bit more grainy? It changes it up a little bit because that's what's going to happen when you do the, the latent upscale anyways, right? But it looks more, more of the image starts to pop up, more solidified. And then by the time you get to this one, boom, now you're getting even more stuff. Now you can take it above uh, the, because I, I only upscaled about 25% as a 1.25. You can take it above that too and get even better, better results. But I'm going to show you what happens when you don't do this. Again, I'm going to let's go take this off, take this off, and first pass. And we're going to take this down to three just to make sure it runs. And I'm going to put this back up at, was it 19, is it 1920? I believe it's 1920 by 1080p. I believe that is the ratio for HD. And take these steps down to 10. And I'm going to show you about those like horizontal line things that I was talking about before. Here's the crazier part, right? The batch size is lower and I'm up, upping the image size. It's actually going to take a lot longer to do this one than it would be the other way around, mainly because of the resolution, even though I have like only a batch, uh, batch of three rather than batch of four. But the real problem with this thing is that you don't know what you're going to get, right? We never know what we're going to get. So the idea that you are concentrating on getting it off the first pass it should not be the thing you're focused on. Cause if you really want it like that, I think you're, you're having too much, <laughs> I don't know, like you believe that the AI is going to understand you too well. Honestly, I don't feel like we all know exactly what we want when we're using this AI stuff. We just know we have a, a general idea, but we know what we don't want when we see it. 
And that's why when I do these first passes, I like to do them in batches. Give me a, a few different ones to look at so I can see whether or not I like it or not. You have to think about too in the nature of upscaling. If you start off with something that looks more detailed and realistic, that's what it's gonna feel like you wanna upscale, something detailed and realistic. But see now, right? We up to this. See how you get the little patchwork and all this kind of stuff? Because it's, it's less and less information because of the lack of steps, right? If I try to upscale this, it doesn't matter what I write in there. It's gonna believe I wanna I want more of this. It's gonna believe I want something that's more cartoony and stuff like that. So like if I just take this, right? Copy clip space paste here right take the other ones down and the crazy part about this is again we're already starting off at higher resolutions so it's it's gonna take extra amount of time to continuously get what we don't want <laughs> it's like sucks it's like it doesn't matter that you know again like with the guidance being a little bit lower you get a little bit it supposedly gets more realistic well at least that's what you know in theory that it does none of that matters because your reference is showing that that's not what you're really wanting. It doesn't make sense to do it this way. It makes more sense to get the details of the base part first so that way you're getting something that looks more realistic from the get go. And then we just take away that graininess from it because that base will stay there as long as your denoise stays low enough. That's really the point. That's really what you're trying to get to. Where you're just adding a little bit more noise to the image so that way it can have some space, some spaces to fill in those details, but the majority of the details are already there. That's why when going back to like the very first tutorial I did on here, talking about what denoise is and understanding really what denoise and the principles of denoise works, how it works is really essential no matter how far you go with this because it's all based upon that kind of diffusion model stuff. The travesty of this is that we're doing all of this and God, my GPU usage is all the way at max. <laughs> we're doing all of this only to realize it's something that we don't want. You can tell I'm, without even zooming in, you can tell this is like, no, this is like a cartoon, right? That's what it looks like. The real, and then when we finally upscale it beyond, now it looks like a freaking, like a weird 8 bit <laughs> video game thing. Which, again, if you're trying to create that, then that's pretty freaking cool, right? But don't think of this. You're think I think a lot of people are thinking this like a human. You're thinking because I want to upscale and I want this high resolution thing, and if I keep telling it I want higher resolution, that it's going to believe that over everything else. When it's, especially when it's image to image and you're upscaling, right? realize that it's not just your text that it's listening to the image counts as well if the image is not detailed if it's not photorealistic already then it's going to think that's what you want and if you just do 100 percent denoise really like if you the closer you are to 100 percent denoise on on an image to image type of upscale right which is basically what upscaling is then you're getting just a whole new image so then you might as well you might as well just like start all over from here, which doesn't really do you much justice. Doesn't matter how many steps. This has 30 steps by comparison. If your base is bad, everything else will just get more and more like that because that's what it quote unquote thinks you want. It thinks you want less detail. It thinks that none of that realistic stuff really matters and that what really matters is that you will just want this stuff because that's what the lack of information in there that's why i say utilize upscale for the purpose of just doing that getting that upscaled option right getting the stuff that looks good later on but the first parts are like an underpainting and again the greatest part about this is that you're not wasting the excessive amounts of time trying to get that polished look before you even render any of this stuff. You're not wasting a lot of time because one, you get to render, you know, a larger batch size up with a, a less amount of pixels. So it moves faster. Even with the steps low, like at 10, I'm gonna do the same process before I did it at 10 with the higher resolution. I'll do at 10 with the lower resolution. I bet you we're still gonna get 
greater amounts of realistic detail simply because the resolution size is low enough that it's easier for it to fill in all the pixels because with every amount of all those steps you need to do that just to fill in those pixels but why waste time even if you could put it all the way up to 1920 by 1080p hd but you put it at 30 steps why waste so much time for an image you don't even know what it's going to look like yet see this is at 10 steps and we still get this more realistic base just a realistic base just because of the nature of that resolution and it doesn't take us that much time to get that and then we can just take one of these right let's just i kind of have a feeling i kind of like this because i love the dark and the light it reminds me of the chiaroscuro type of like <laughs> style but see look you see how it's still kind of like grainy doesn't matter because the base of all those like colors and the details and all that stuff it's in there rather than see this this was our base before it's not there but see all this stuff is there already so let's take this first pass boom boom right do it again and everything moves a lot faster the resolution is a lot lower but you can keep upscaling that because you have the details there for you the details are already in it but see look at that even at this distance without me zooming in you can tell there's way more there's more detail in this than you could ever get just because you got higher resolution don't think that higher resolution means greater detail that doesn't that isn't what it means it means a certain amount of pixels that's what those resolution sizes mean it's just like when people talked about i remember before like the digital photography thing started to take over everybody kept concentrating on how many megapixels this thing is and this is more or less an art thing but <laughs> i assume there's creatives in there when you talk about megapixels you're talking about number of pixels but you're not talking about the absorption of light through the lens and its ability to take in those details if you have a blurred image if you have it out of focus right and it's a blurred image it doesn't matter how many megapixels you put into that thing it's not going to make it not blurred because what you record with the light is what you have and unless you had it in focus where you can get those details it doesn't matter how many pixels there are you need those details period boom we had the details in the very thing and even without filling in you know I, I know you can zoom in a little bit closer and you can see it's like kind of grainy it doesn't matter you can keep upscaling from this point you see it's getting great and great detail upscale again put it at, at more than just 20 uh 25 percent you can always get something better but having a good base but if you have a bad base you're just gonna get more of the bad <laughs> that's really what the lesson is so if you want to take away all those weird looking lines, you want to get rid something that looks more detailed, what are you going for? Go with a lower resolution size at the beginning and choose and understand how to upscale because that's what's going to get you the better image that you want. Not this idea that you can get it from the very first prompt you do and then you don't have to worry about upscaling. Why shy away from upscaling? perfection is not in the beginning especially with something like this where a lot of it is like hit or miss because you don't know what you're gonna get it's, a, it's like a mixed bag anyways i just really wanted to harp on this point that upscaling is important you should use it and don't try to always get the resolution you size you want from the very beginning one you'll save a whole lot more time you see this before it was like three minutes i think it took on the other now it's only a minute 31 i know that depends on your system but either way you can see there'll be a substantial difference on any system you get what you want a lot faster especially a lot of different options and stuff like that and you'll waste less time and it'll come out looking a lot a lot better you can always upscale to what you want again we have it in the right ratio if you just know your ratios so you can get this if you want to you can get to this point if you want to just know how to upscale hope that was informative <laughs> see you next time